what did this team maybe learn down there at that Arizona trip that that helped it, you know, moving forward and, and maybe into this game? That's easy. I think it was all about confidence for us. Um, going down there and playing schools that realistically on paper we shouldn't beat anyway. Um, they are all scholarship schools. Um, they play, um, you know, they play the teams in the top five. They are the top five teams in the nation most of the time. Um, Mesa, I think, was ranked sixth in D2. Um, you know, and coming back and being able to beat a D2 at home, I think our confidence level um, being, you know, coming off, even though they were losses, but coming off that helped us considerably. And that's, that's the reason we go on that trip is to help us in our, conf in our conference season and when we get back. Kinsey, when I was talking to her, said that this team kind of relishes playing the, uh, you know, the bigger teams, maybe not only on paper, but the bigger teams in attendance and scholarships, as you said. Did, do you ever get the sense from this group that they're, they're ever going into a game saying, oh, we can't play with this team or that team? Um, no, and even in Arizona, I mean, they were athletic down there. And, um, you know, you look at the Kishwaukee team, and they were huge. Uh, but we're always, we like the underdog. Um, we've talked about it a lot. And, you know, we let, people look down on us. We're D3. We don't have any scholarships. They should beat us. Well, you didn't, you know. And that, I think, only boosts our confidence and helps us now as we go into our um, conference season, I think uh, the month of January, I think this is a good way to get us on a roll. Earlier this season when I talked to you after one of the games, you said, you know, you, you want to see big numbers from Kinsey Mace every game. This is one of the games she had big numbers. I think she finished with 20 and 10. How much better is this team when she is actually, you know, bringing her A game to the court? Um, you know, when we can get her to play on both ends of the floor, that's what we want. Um, I know she can score. Um, we know she can rebound. Um, but we've you know, we've challenged her on the defense event, and um, she needs to score, and she knows that. Uh, there's people on this team who need to be our scorers no matter who's guarding them. Uh, she's one of them, and I think she's kind of picked up her um, game a little bit since Arizona as well. Um, and I know going into January, um, kind of hungry after losing three in a row, I think that'll only help all of us. Finally, talk about free throw shooting in this game. Played a, a pretty important role. I think you finished 14 to 20. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you would have liked to shot even better than that, but but still, 14 points off free throws in a very tight game, uh, you know, definitely gave you guys a little bit of an edge. We talk about it all the time. That 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 may be a way we win the game. Uh, we work on them every day. Um, we stress it, um, getting not just getting there and being happy with getting the free throw line, but knocking them down. Um, I think you know, 14 to 20 eh, is okay. Uh, like to be more 16, 17, 18, um, but when you get 14 points from the free throw line. Um, especially in a tight game like that, um, you know, that's going to tip your way most of the time.